everyone. It's been a while since my last uh, video and the last thing I think I did was a horse trailer for my daughter. Well, we just got another one in. So right now we're just going to rip and tear, take a, the carpet off the walls and um, it might get the fan in today. Uh, I got a max air fan going in the ceiling and I might get a couple other things done. Anyway, uh, let's get at it. So we stripped it down, uh, gave it a good wash all through it, and so far we've pulled out the old fan. Uh, actually, it wasn't a fan; it was just a vent that was in there. We're going to put in a Max Air fan. We pulled all the uh, wire that wasn't needed out, all the inside carpet, now we basically just have a hole up here that we're working on. We're going to clean up around the hole and get all the sort of remnants of the other vent out. And after this is sanded up and ready to go, we'll install the new Max Air Fan. One of the things I got to work on right now is we're going to try to figure out how to get some wire from here to here to run our Max Air Fan. I was under the impression that there had been uh, a air conditioner in here at one time so it was some sort of wiring that I could pull through or do something with. Turns out there's not. There's not. Um, and this roof is quite tight to the top here. So anyway that's going to be my next project is try and run a wire uh, through the middle um, and pick it up over here. I had to pull the ceiling down a few places uh, to be able to get up underneath. It's just some rivets. So I did the, did the rivets and popped the edge out of the track that's up in the ceiling here. Now I'll run a couple of wires here. Run one for the Max Air Fan, it's in behind here. I got a ground, I'm gonna run up to the Max Air Fan as well. And this wire I'm gonna pull through, probably drill a hole and try and drop it through just in the corner here. Um, just to add another 12 volt on here just in case we put a couple of pot lights underneath the uh, overhead cap. So we started running some wire. Uh, we took the plates off the front and the plates off the back. We're going to be putting a, a USB port charger at the front as well as a couple of lights over the headboard. This wire comes directly from the battery. So I've cut it here and we'll wire back on it. It's actually the trailer lights that belong up here. We'll probably change those bulbs to LED to get more lights. But really the only extra lights will be uh, two bedside lights up front and uh, some lights underneath the uh, overhead cabinets and we might have a side light here but I'll wire up it up through there.
So, so far on this uh, horse trailer build, um, just working on the color outside right now. Uh, I'm going to do, I think we're looking at this gray here. Uh, it'll work better uh, once it's dried inside. But so far, let's take a quick trip inside. I got the plumbing done here, uh, coming through from our water heater on the other side. I got the lines running down through to this side. There'll be a pump down on the floor, we have a small water tank. Uh, there is hot and cold water, so that's the out to the hot water tank on the other side, I'll show you, and then the inlet as well. Got the carpet all stripped out. I got a headboard piece up on the back there. Uh, the plan is for it to be a gray color, the one we're testing outside. And we've got this all sort of set up. The two vertical pieces are in place. This seat is not done yet. Um, we have space underneath we can use here. So I'm going to cut the same holes, only slightly larger in the top here. And then I'll be able to use them as a lid and they'll set back down on the plywood that's already on in there. Uh, we got the floor in. And I'll just show you where the water tank is up in the back wall there. This is just a propane fired on demand water tank. Fast as the wall, I got my plumbing coming through there. And I'll just use a couple of 90 degrees and uh, bring those up into there. And then we'll just run the propane off of that. But that way it's not inside the trailer. And we don't got a lot of room in there anyway. Uh, not only that, this is a nice six horse horse trailer. And we can always pop a hose out the back side with a hose bib and uh, wash horses with warm water. We've got the wiring all set to go here as well. Uh, the wiring up at the front. And we've got the Max Air fan installed. This is a fully automated one. That's all we got so far on this build. And we'll be back at it next week.